Good, good, good. Jesus. What did Hey, B squad. Whew. On um, on my way down to the lobby, meeting my crew members, and we're going to my favorite ramen restaurant in Phoenix. If you've watched any of my Phoenix vlogs, you know where I'm going. But if you're new here, stay tuned. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's not like the best wings, but I taste worse. I like Brazil. I like Argentina. I like Chile. But overall, I can feel it. I'm gonna try out the tofu and I've never I've never had tofu before. Yeah, I've just never been interested. Oh, it is squishy. Oh wow. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be toasty. Oh. There it is, let's see. Mm. That's interesting. I mean I know tofu. When you cook it, it takes the taste of whatever you're cooking. Exactly. I just ordered the salted caramel cheesecake and it came up to $14 and change after tax. Um, please, there it is. <laughs> I'm really excited. Order 30, thank you. Yeah, $14.12. Order 80. Let me show you something. By the yard milkshake bar. This is the yard. What did you get? It's uh, the praline and dreams. Praline and dreams. Oh wow, it's so challenging, <laughs> but it looks nice. Is it nice? It's delicious. It's delicious. Oh. Guys, this is mine. Remember, I got the cheesecake something. Salted caramel cheesecake, actually. That's what I got. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? There's a whole cheesecake on the side. They did a good job with this one. Let's see if we can sleep tonight before our trip because we do have a red eye back to New York. right under this cool neon light let me show you really quickly it says my milkshake is better than yours but I've got my food and we're all ready to go back to the hotel 
It is currently 6 o'clock. So, well, it's 7. It's 7 o'clock now. So that means I'm gonna go to the hotel, take a nap, get up at 9.30, and get ready for pickup, which is 10.24. Hours have passed since I last spoke to you all, but I went to the gym. Hold on, I think I have a... I went to the gym. I um came, did my skincare, I shaved my legs. Um, my device is all charged up, so I'm just trying to put away and make everything good for tomorrow because our pickup time is 4.33 a.m. That means I got to get up at like 3.30. That's crazy. It's 6 p.m. now. I didn't, I don't know if I told you, but we're in Cleveland and we'll be in Atlanta tomorrow. I never had a layover in Atlanta before, so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, since I got assigned this trip so early this morning, literally 2.20 something, because I was still up, God knows why, I really need to sleep. I don't have any food prepared with me, so unfortunately, over this trip, I'm going to have to buy food, which I want to save money, and then at the end of this trip, I'm going to go to Jamaica. So, when I get back to New York, when I finish my last flight in New York on Thursday, I'm going to jump straight on a flight back to um, Miami, Miami to Kingston. Um, I already have everything I need. I got my drone. I got all my skincare stuff. Obviously, I travel with those. I have all the clothes that I would need. I have three pairs of shoes other than my two pair of work shoes. Like I'm I'm fully prepared. I have a new book because I've been reading 10 plus pages a day ever since January 1st. I'm going to be on my fourth book. Um, I could be on my fourth book by tomorrow, but I'm trying so hard not to read any more than 10 pages and it's so hard. I think I've already read 40 pages today. I've already read 40 pages today. Anyways, what was I trying to say to you, to you guys? I'm going to go downstairs, put on my winter jacket, and go order some food at the bar. And then come straight back upstairs and go to sleep. Sorry, there's something in my eyes, or I need to take out my contacts. I plucked my eyebrows last night. I didn't show y'all, but... Am I here? Girl, this is a good time. I feel good. I look good. I've been working out. Been eating healthy-ish. Um, yeah, man, I feel good. All right, let's go. getting the smash burger and with my discount it came up to $19 and one cent I think that's pretty nice I got it to go I'm gonna go straight to the room and back in the room there was a lot of people by the bar so I didn't want to there wasn't anything that I could record that would interest you because they were just everywhere um other than what you saw but the food came out so quick like as soon as i stopped recording give it five minutes less than five minutes the food was out i said to the bartender that was quick and he was like yeah that's what i think the same thing so it was kind of funny um but yeah i'm i'm, I'm hungry and i don't wanna i'll show you the food and then I'll see you tomorrow morning when I'm getting ready for work. Here we go. I mean, eh. why is this? It's skimp, but I got a discount, so I didn't pay full price for it, anyways. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It looks like half a burger, but 
for $19, it is a lot. Burger King would have got you a lot. But I guess the produce on this is a little bit better. A little bit healthier. Um, yeah, that's really it, guys. I'll see you in the morning. So I've actually been awake from I think 2.40 a.m. I've been trying to go back to sleep. <sighs> so a little under an hour I've been awake. <sighs> it's so annoying but at least we get into Atlanta. A little early because I've been used to like getting in real late these past couple weeks so we get in when there's still light outside so and I did sleep early so that's all right so I'm gonna go get ready now today is Valentine's Day so I'm gonna do a red lip I have to be downstairs in 13 minutes the last thing to go in my bag is my makeup bag. Um, not really feeling in the Valentine's mood. Like, I love love. May go buy myself some chocolate or something today. Or not. Because, um, <laughs> like I said yesterday, I don't have food. So, I may just buy myself food and call call that that um yeah been feeling quite alone these past couple days but regardless it is what it is I'm gonna wear oh my god I wish I had a little red heart pin oh can, that would be so cute right I'm gonna get one for next year gonna get one her next year I'm just doing some very light I don't wanna I don't even wanna wear makeup but I have some discoloration that I just don't like some very simple I'm gonna be very quick you know what I'm gonna wear a red blush today gonna wear this one it looks orange on camera but it's it's red and that was way too much because it's highly pigmented so let me pat off some of this there that's how it should be looking I don't know why I got so much on this side let me finesse to put a little bit more calm on this side yeah so I don't know There's nothing serious all right let me put my peach one on I was trying something but it wasn't it's not working I haven't used that one in a while so Now my face looks red as heck. <laughs> I look so red and I need to hurry up. Oh my God. Let me try to lift some off. Okay, I think that did something. Alrighty. Um... I have a lip liner I'm going to line my lip with. It's purple. And I think I heard one of my crew members go downstairs. Because they're so close to each other. 
Let me check the time again to make sure. Yeah, I got 10 minutes. I hope we get little chocolate from people. You know a little goodie bag? That'd be kind of cute, right? That'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. What I'm putting under my eye is my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. I don't, I don't have the need to put um, foundation all over my face. At least not for, not for work. I don't think I really need it. I am starting to have some discoloration around my jaw. Like where did that come from? But it is what it is. What? My bronzer cracked. Must be because I forced everything in my bag, but still. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of this chunky piece. Crazy. Anyways, let me do my brows real quick. I'm not gonna put any product. Well, I'm not gonna put any liner on my brows. I'm just gonna put a little bit of gel to hold it up to hold it up so it can look cute that's the color oh been recording for a while Damn, I gotta go. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go put on my red lipstick, take this off my head, and I'll be right back when I'm ready to go. If, hold on, let me clean that up. If and only if my hair tie would come up off my head. Like, I know I tied it tight, but I don't want to pull it off. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's, I got three minutes. I don't want to take my edges out either. <laughs> Not my edges, my nape. Anyways, it's gonna have to. Oh, it's. The gel is white. Because my hair needs to be washed. So that's kind of annoying. But other than that. Like, what, what else am I to do? What am I to do? gonna do my count my meals I already did my pre-flights and all that good stuff all set up I'm just gonna crack some ice we have a uh, 12 minutes until boarding thing that y'all like seeing us do.
Where are the other two at? Yeah. I haven't laid over in Atlanta. But it's a short layover on Valentine's Day. Hey guys, so I'm in Atlanta now and it's Valentine's Day and I just feel so alone. I don't want to stand here too long because you know when people watch themselves cry and they cry more. <laughs> just feel so alone um there's this girl on tiktok and she does flight attendant videos and i mean she would share just like some of the downsides about being a flight attendant and being like able to go all over the world but a lot of times you're by yourself and on this day of love like i really feel so alone but it was a really good day and like my crew members like one of my crew members um her boyfriend is in Atlanta and I was at the gym um when I was coming up to the room I saw her and her boyfriend leaving and it was just so cute so and then passengers you know just saying happy valentine's day and random people and stuff so it's like it's not a bad day and it's just like you feel the love you feel the spirit and it's just like you're happy but then, at the end of the day, when you come back to the room and you're by yourself, it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of sad. But yeah. So I was supposed to go to Jamaica tomorrow because my trip ends early. Um, but then I'm not going anymore. So I was like, you know what? I have, what is it, like five days off. And my trip ends early tomorrow, so I can use tomorrow as a travel day and get to stay wherever I need to stay for four days. So that would be fun. So I was just looking to see, like, where can I go? And a lot of my stuff that I packed, because I packed ahead of time. Like, I was just planning to go straight to Jamaica. But um, a lot of my clothes is for summer weather. And I guess I could go to, you know, another Caribbean island. I think that would be cool. Maybe... Um, I need to check to see how long, uh, cause I go from Atlanta to Miami, Miami to New York tomorrow. I need to see how long I'm in Miami for, cause then maybe I'll like reconsider where I go. But for now, um, I put myself on standby to go to Paris and I've been before. I have a vlog. You can check it out if you go on my channel and search Paris or just even search Bacana. Make sure you spell my name right because <laughs> it's always autocorrects to Bianca but Bacana and Paris the vlog should come up I really love that vlog I, th I worked really hard on the intro and I love it I just wanted to make it fun and catch it and I just think it was a great vlog um but yes yeah, so I was like okay I could go to Paris like the times just align perfectly the transportation like they have a train system from the airport to the city center so I was like I don't have to worry about getting how am I gonna get from the airport to where I need to stay, to where I need to go. You know, like, I could move around without, like, having to pay a lot of money for taxes and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of, that was nice. And then the Airbnb that I saw was cheap, so it was, like, perfect. Um, anyways, I don't know how long I've been talking for. I want to talk too long, even though it's starting to make me feel better. <laughs> I think sometimes you just need to talk. Um yeah so that's all i needed to share happy valentine's day if i didn't say it to you it's gone now but you know i've already prepped everything my suitcase um basically still pack up on everything um my uniform is ironed and ironed and laid out and there's some stuff that i need to do and today's like the deadline to do one of them and i really need to do it so i just don't know why i'm procrastinating so much um but yeah this was me being emotional but i was like you know what all that glitters is not gold and i used to share a lot more with you guys and i haven't been able to do that so thank you <laughs> 
this release was nice i'm wrapped up in the um towels because i don't want to use my clothes that i would use for i don't want to use my pajamas that i would use for traveling <laughs> so i've been just in a bunch of towels this these past three days anyways bye i need to fix my nails because they look really bad look at this i've been wearing gloves the past three days because nobody deserves to see this jump scare like no anyways i'm gonna go watch a movie my nose is starting to run it's not cute so i'll see you in the morning bye Alrighty. today i'm wearing my shirt wearing my shirt and my skirt and my heels and we're all ready to go i'm so early i'm proud of myself i'm five minutes early <laughs> um do not judge my nails i said this before i am gonna grab my suitcase and all my stuff and bring it to the door put my jacket on and i'll be right back Jamaica day one. I'm gonna try to do some daily vlogs while I'm here. Um, heading up to a mechanic with Chad. I may or may not get my hair done um, today. I'll insert the picture of the inspiration that I saw on TikTok. The hair is so pretty. The outfit was also really pretty. Um, the girl is pretty. I'm like, I guess so. I really like that style, so I think I may go with something like that. Um, and then I think either me, are, me and Chad or me and Kai, Chad, huh? may go somewhere tonight. So I hope you enjoy today. I'll try to get as much footage as I can and get this out to you as quick as I can. So stay tuned for that. On a walk we left me. Make a little um make him buy um something for um to drink for tea or candy. The artwork is so nice. There's so many talented people in Jamaica like look on the artwork, look on the, the dimensions. On the straight line, on the shadow. Let me zoom out so I can see a little better. These just look so nice. You see that? Come on, one by. Yeah. I don't know what Chalam Brand's waiting for. But my day is for the ride. I'm going to get the car and read that book that I'm telling you guys about. Differently. Differently, this one hot. Hmm. 
I need to respond back to some comments on my YouTube video. But I don't know the sun I want to sleep. I wanna sleep. But I can read one more chapter of the book. Drink some water and easy back until chat them ready. I'm going to read this page to you guys. Because I'm gonna start reading it and I feel like it's so nice. So if I can convince you to get the book and read it don't judge my fingernails if you watched my last well i don't think i put it okay i think i may put it in here if you watched the intro scenes to this vlog i said don't judge my nails but yeah mm -hmm. this chapter is chapter two of iron widow and it's called like water hurled out the door what does that look like if you hear anything in the background, just bear with it as scenic noise, background music. <laughs> I stagger through the mountain path with my bamboo cane alone. A lattice of forest shadows crawls over me, sliced up by blades of scarlet twilight. If I don't get home before the sun drops beyond the western peaks, my family will think this is my latest escape attempt. The whole village will start combing the mountains with flashlights and barking dogs. They can't have their own daughters thinking it's possible to run away. Soggy leaves turn to mush under my tiny battered shoes, which Yeezy has offered to replace countless times. But I could never accept his gifts, for fear of my family finding out about him. A lump swells in my throat at the memory of his horrified expression after learning of my self-imposed mission and the broken way he called my name after I vanished into the woods to abandon the conversation. I shouldn't have told him. There was no way he wouldn't try to stop me. Bum, bum, bum. And that's the first page of chapter two. So I don't think I explained it. I'm going to read what this is about. Mm. well basically it's about a young girl who is selected to be a concubine pilot for these machines that fight off basically these unworldly creatures that are trying to invade their country uh the only thing is that the female concubines always die the male pilots never die but the females always die so this girl she never died when she was selected and she went to fight with the the male pilot she didn't die he ended up dying so when she stepped out of the machine everybody was shocked like what the heck how did you not die um so that's really that's really basically you know it says, and then she needs to get revenge on her sister because her older sister had um, been chosen and died. Um, so we'll see. I think she's trying to get uh, revenge on the pilot that her sister worked with. Like, how oh, the sister did and you don't did. Like, that type of thing. So, I don't know. It seems really interesting. It does have some triggers. It, it does have a trigger warning in the intro so again if you want to watch not watch if you want to read iron widow then go check it out if you've read dune let me know what you think about that i would love to start a little book club where we talk about stuff in the comments so that would be kind of fun let me know what books i should look into i'm a girl that loves fantasy science fiction i'll read the occasional romance but i'm not a romance girl so if you want, drop some book recommendations. You know, just give us a brief synopsis of why we should read the book. So we can all start reading something new. Bye. Come back. Yeah, come back. Some good cargo at the I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Fishing. <laughs> 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 
going on? Yeah. Yeah, so that track from morning to everybody needs to video. Okay guys, catch up. So I slept a good chunk of the ride with Chad Dem. But I think it's because since I started work from 3 a.m. yesterday and I didn't get to Jamaica until after 8, um, it was just that I was super duper tired and then I didn't get to sleep much last night. Yeah, I didn't sleep much last night. I think I woke up at what, 7, 7 a.m. and we went to sleep around a little bit after 12, after, no, after 1. So yeah, I was tired, but I didn't end up getting my hair done. What I think I'm going to do is wash it and I'm going to know, wear it out, try to do a wash and go hairstyle. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Chad Wong got the bike ride out tomorrow, right? Is that what you're still doing? Want me to leave? Alright, me so it look like just because I don't have nobody, I don't know nobody what can do me here on such last minute. But Kaidem said them know somebody. I guess we can ask them how much it would be. The hairstyle that I like that you guys saw earlier in the vlog. It's a real simple hairstyle and you know it's popular now, but back in the day it wasn't expensive, it was just as popular but it wasn't expensive and I have a feeling they're going to want to try to charge some $6,000 and it, it doesn't cost $6,000. I can't even understand $4,000, five, 5, maybe $5,000, four five really. But $6,000, $7,000, like the money there, it don't make sense. So, let's have a go see. Hmm? It's not no little bit of money for the style, that's what I'm saying, for the style. But hey, since you pay a little bit of money, yes? Hmm? About to wash. <laughs> about to wash my hair. Oh, this is such a nice setup. And the lighting is nice. Hmm. The water is kind of low. But I'm using the Keratin Smooth Shampoo by Tresemme. Got my hair tight here. One second. Is woolly. I do have a lot of products in my hair. First on the front. Should I make this a thumbnail? I could, right? The one more clean, clean rinse. 
a lot less um, shampoo. I'm gonna go and try my best to define all these pieces. I'll come back when it's done. If you see me come back and my hair is in a bun, that means it never worked out. So just bear with me. <laughs> If I end off the video here, I'm going to start another bike video here. So make sure you go and check it out. And if I did not end it off and it's just a long vlog, I'm here telling about it for no reason. Make sure to use this time to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah. If you're watching this, why are you so obsessed with me? Jeez, get a life.